Ever wondered which sea creature holds the infamous title of being one of the most venomous? Welcome to the mysterious deep, a realm so vast and uncharted, it's often said we know more about the surface of Mars than our own oceans. In this colossal underwater world, life thrives in countless forms, from the tiniest plankton to the largest whales. Among this myriad of life, there exists a captivating array of creatures that are as compelling as they are deadly. Their survival in the harsh marine environment is largely attributed to a potent weapon they wield, venom. Yes, these are the venomous sea creatures, the dangerous yet intriguing inhabitants of our oceans. They're the source of both fear and fascination, commanding our respect while simultaneously sparking our curiosity. Among these dangerous denizens of the deep, one creature stands out, the crown of thorns starfish. This creature, with its unique name and formidable venom, is our focus for today. Let's dive deeper into the world of this fascinating creature. Now you might be thinking, a starfish? Really, how dangerous can they be? Well, let's dive a little deeper into the ocean's depths and get to know the crown of thorns starfish. This isn't your typical starfish. The crown of thorns starfish, or Acanthaster planchi, is a unique marine creature that gets its name from its spiny, crown-like appearance. Picture a starfish, but with long, sharp spines covering its body, reminiscent of the biblical crown of thorns. This starfish prefers warm tropical waters. So you'll find it in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, from the Red Sea to the Great Barrier Reef. It's a nocturnal creature, hiding during the day and venturing out at night to feed on coral polyps. But let's not stray from our main point here. What makes the crown of thorns starfish so dangerous? It's the venom. Yes, you heard right, Venom. This starfish is one of the few venomous starfish species in the world. The venom of the crown of thorns starfish is contained within its spines. When threatened, it can release this venom as a defense mechanism. If you're unfortunate enough to get pricked by one of these spines, you're in for a world of hurt. The venom causes sharp searing pain, swelling, and sometimes even nausea and vomiting. It's not lethal to humans, but trust me, it's not an experience you'd want to go through. So why does the crown of thorns starfish have such potent venom? It's all about survival, in the vast ocean, where danger lurks at every corner, having a strong defense mechanism is crucial. The venom not only wards off potential predators, but also helps the starfish capture its prey. In conclusion, the crown of thorns starfish is a fascinating creature that combines beauty and danger in equal measure. Its venomous nature, coupled with its unique appearance, makes it a standout among the myriad of marine species. Though they may not look the part, these starfish are a force to reckon with. But the venomous sting isn't the only thing that makes the crown of thorns starfish dangerous. This starfish plays a rather sinister role in the grand scheme of the marine ecosystem, especially when it comes to coral reefs. You see, it's a voracious predator of coral polyps, the tiny creatures that build the magnificent structures we know as coral reefs. When the population of the crown of thorns starfish spikes, which can happen naturally or due to human influences, it can decimate vast stretches of reef, leaving behind a barren wasteland. This isn't just bad news for the corals themselves, but for the countless species that call these reefs home. Without the reef, these creatures lose their habitat, their food source, their protection. The whole balance of the ecosystem can be thrown into disarray, so, it's not just the sting we need to fear. The ecological impact of the crown of thorns starfish can be just as, if not more, devastating. So the danger of the crown of thorns starfish extends beyond its venomous sting. So, what can we do to protect our oceans from the crown of thorns starfish? The first step is acknowledging the efforts already in place. Teams of divers around the globe are working tirelessly to cull the population of these starfish ensuring they don't overrun the coral reefs. This is a delicate job as removing too many can harm the ecosystem just as much as leaving too many. Yet it's not just about controlling the crown of thorns starfish. Our oceans, the lifeblood of our planet, are teeming with a vast array of marine biodiversity, each playing a vital role in maintaining the balance of life underwater. It's a delicate, intricate web where every species matters, which brings us to our individual role. We can contribute to ocean conservation by making responsible choices, whether it's reducing our plastic use, supporting sustainable fisheries, or just spreading awareness, every action counts. 
Remember, every creature has a role in the ecosystem. Even the venomous crown-of-thorn starfish, 